What's the flavor, y'all? This is Chef Clarence, the Flavor King, coming at you at the Ingles table. My philosophy is that cooking should be fun. And today, I'm here with my beautiful fiance, Sydney, cooking up a Valentine's Day treat, my Cajun strawberry salmon. This is a perfect dinner for two, and we want to share this with you. We've been to Ingles and picked up everything we need for this amazing dinner. Now let's get to cooking. Pan is already all, got the oil in it, two tablespoons of oil. I'm gonna add the butter. Good and hot. That's what we wanna see, that smoke when you're cooking that salmon, you're gonna want it to rise. Season on both sides, heavy. Two tablespoons of Obey. Got your chili powder and your salt and pepper here. And you can season the other side once you drop it in the pan. Make sure you set it in that butter. All right. And I just hit the other side with a little salt and pepper. Maybe just a little teaspoon. Next, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start working on the strawberries. Okay, the recipe called for pureed strawberries. You can do them by hand, just mash them up and have them sitting and ready. So I'll show you how to knock that out and just get that out the way. So you're just mashing it with your knife, you know. Pretty simple. And then just hit it a little bit. That was about six strawberries right there. That was ready. All right, that's ready. Now you want your salmon to cook um, on both sides for about three minutes. And you can continue to look at it and you'll be able to see when it's starting to brown and it's gonna get that crust on it real quick because of your spices. That's what you wanna look for. You wanna look for them brown edges, crisp edges, you know you're about ready, all right? Make sure you're dropping it right in that butter and that, and that oil mix. While I'm doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and prep, get the strawberries ready for your garnish. Make it look real good. You know, just because you're cooking in your house and you're cooking in your kitchen, don't mean you gotta make it beautiful, like my fiance say. <laughs> we like to team up in the kitchen to make beautiful plates together, you know? All right, this is cilantro right here, just a little bit. I say this is about a tablespoon of it. Just cutting it up, this is gonna be for my garnish also. So don't be scared to wash your salmon and move it around a little bit in the pan, you know? That way it's gonna come out perfect in the way you want it to. I say cook it on both sides for about three to four minutes. Like I say, you look at it and make sure it's getting crusty and it's getting that golden, the golden edges. Now I'm gonna let this cook for another about, about five minutes on the, on the skin side and I'll be right back with you with the finishing touches. We're back. Now what I've done, I've got, you seen when I mashed up my strawberries here, right? So I went ahead and threw it in the pan so it can also soak up the flavor. My salmon is ready. I'm about to go ahead and pull it and let it rest. Woo! Love in the kitchen. Boom! Salmon's out, letting it rest. So my strawberries are in here, catching up the flavor. Let it soak up that, that butter and that oil. All right, boom. That's what we're gonna do. Add that honey. Two tablespoons. I like it sweet, so I'm doing three. But the recipe say two. Don't forget, you can also tweak your recipe, add more flavor if you like, take less, whatever, substitute. Boom. Okay, I got your lime juice. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it natural. I, I'm gonna do a half a lime. No, I'm gonna do the whole thing because I'm the flavor king. <laughs> with the queen, I gotta show out. So, this is running, and this is gonna be beautiful. All right, you let your sauce cook, mm. that's what I'm gonna do. Cilantro, Whew. with love. Add that, all right, so we're running this. We're about ready for the plate. We're back, I'm about to show y'all how to make this restaurant five-star quality plate up for your loved one. Okay, we're gonna do it quick. Just plate up. Should've used my spoon. But. You don't have to be an expert. I'm all serious right now. It's quiet in here. <laughs> then you get the remaining of your sauce. Your pan might be hot, but don't worry. Just put a little bit. Presentation is the key. Most people eat with their eyes before they even eat with their mouth. So when you're bringing something this beautiful to the table, to your family and your loved ones, straight from the heart. And that's it. I want to thank you so much 
for hanging with me here today at the Ingles table. Explore the site for more great recipes, tips, and tricks. I'll see you next time.